He met her his fourth day in the country and met her parents and siblings. The relationship bloomed and they fornicated his last day before he returned to the U.S. Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for so continue watching my videos and supporting to my channel. And please click the notification bell so that you will be alerted when I post a new video. So just vlog, although an entertainment one, but actually it happened in the Philippines more often than you can imagine. Intelligent foreigners put their trust and resources in a Filipina that fills him in hook, line, and sinker. My story began in the United States of America, where Dave, a low-level federal government employee, is nearing retirement and has been watching foreigner vlogger channels in the Philippines. He is captivated by the paradise and endless beauties depicted by foreigner YouTuber in the Philippines and their happiness and success. He particularly follow a vlogger who convinces him he is the guru and expert on finding the perfect Filipina and building a home in the province. He took the vlogger advice and did a scouting trip to the Philippines and settled on Cebu for his two weeks vacation so that he could meet his ideal Filipina with boots on the ground. He even met with his favorite vlogger who recommend finding a province girl and a traditional Filipina. He took his advice and while walking in a province outside Cebu City, he met Leonora, a 25 years old Filipina who worked at a Sari Sari store or small neighborhood store in the province. He met her his fourth day in the country and met her parents and siblings. The relationship bloomed and they fornicated his last day before he returned to the U.S. Dave, who was 63, couldn't believe how beautiful Leonora was and that he made love to a 25 years old girl who made him feel like he was a super study. Fast forward to his retirement five months later, Dave and Leonora decided to marry and Dave sold his house in the United States, paid off all his bills, and asked Leonora to marry him. Dave had over 200,000 US dollars. They coordinated and did an online marriage so that when he returned to the Philippines, they could build a house and buy land. Upon retirement and returning to the Philippines, they purchased a land from the family and built three houses. One for the parents, one for him, one to rent for income. He also bought a car and the parents and her two sisters a motorbike for travel with their kids on the mountain roads. He invested $15,000 US on Pig Venture with her brothers. To end this story, Dave had to return to the United States for his dad's funeral. Upon returning to the Philippines, Leonora did not meet him at the airport. He procured transportation to the province, but his new houses, which was in Leonora's name, has been sold. Some for the other houses because none were in his name. He had foolishly transferred all his cash and savings to 25 years old Leonora bank account. They all had disappeared in only two weeks. Through sheer effort, the police helped. He learned Leonora was already married and had three kids. Though his online marriage was not recognized, online marriage companies take a couple word that they are both single. No proof required. Dave went to the bank and her account has been emptied. He found out he was coughed up in an elaborate scam. He didn't take the blogger advice to trust, but verified. Dave went from having money and homes to work and despair in three weeks' time. He had only $200 with him and had purchased a fake two-way ticket 
and had no return ticket. But he had no home to return to anyway. Dave now sleeps and works in a funeral parlor. The U.S. Embassy is working with him for a return ticket. Dave no longer sees the Philippines as a paradise. He sees it as his living hell. He blames himself for having expectation and trust that resulted from lust. Lesson learned, trust but verify. He now has to start all over again and is all penniless and tired. Thank you and God bless. You only call me on the weekends when you're out and about. Only chasing highs, you need me. He brings me flowers on a Tuesday.